Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how to change the username that is on your Windows PC. So this is the name that actually shows up when you're logging in to your profile account. And additionally, it's the name that shows up on your user folder file. Now this process is gonna be a little bit involved, so make sure you actually wanna go through with it just to change the name that is on your account when you're logging in. So essentially the steps that I'm gonna be walking you through are creating a new admin account and then transferring over the file information from your old admin account to the new admin account that has the name on it that you'd like to have displayed. And other than that, you're also going to have to repin the icons to your taskbar. So I recommend taking a picture of those icons so that you can remember which apps that you want to pin to your new taskbar. And additionally, you'll have to reset the personalization settings such as your desktop background and the colors that show up and things such as that on your profile. So if you want to go through with this, what we're going to do is right click on the start menu icon on our taskbar. And then we're going to click on settings. In our settings, we're going to go down and click on where it says accounts. And in our accounts, we're going to click on where it says other users. And this is where you can add another user. So when you add an account, if you don't want it linked up to a Microsoft account, you can click, I don't have access to the information. And then you can add the user account without a Microsoft account. If that's something that you want to do for your new account. Otherwise you can always just sign in to a Microsoft account or you can add this option later. So I'm going to do sign in without a Microsoft account. And then this is where you can enter in that username. So make sure this is what you want your username to be on your computer. Enter that in and then enter in a password that you're going to use to sign in to this user account. So after you're finished with the sign up process, we want to make sure that this new user account has administration control. So to do this, we click on change account type and make sure that this user is an administrator. Now, the next step in this process is going to be signing in with our new administrator account. So to do this, we're going to click on the start menu icon on the taskbar, and we're going to right click on our username account right here so that we can sign out of this account. So now I've logged into the new user profile account that I had created, and you can see it has a different name on the user account. So what we want to do at this point is transfer over the files from the old account to this account. So we're going to do that by opening up our file explorer. And in our file explorer, we want to go down and click on local disk and then users. This is my old profile account. This is the new account. So I'm going to go into the old account and I'm going to select all of these files and click control copy. So that's going to copy down all of these and then opening up my new user profile folder. And in here I can click control V to paste those over. Now, depending on how many files you have, this could take a bit of time. And after this information has transferred over, we're now at a point where we can delete that old administrator account if we'd like to do that. If you want, you can just leave it on your computer for the time being and delete it at a future date. But the process to delete that old administrator account is going to be right clicking on the start icon and clicking on settings and then clicking on accounts. And in our accounts, we want to go down and find where it says other users and click on that. And I can see that other administrator account right here. So I can open it up and click on where it says remove. So it's going to delete the account and data that's on this previous administrator account. I've copied over the file folder information over to this new administrator account. Now, if you're nervous about this part, you can always just leave this account on here for the time being and just keep logging into your new administrator account. But once you've transferred over the files and you're confident that you're okay with deleting this old account, you can click on where it says delete account and data. And after it goes through that process, it has now been deleted from my account. So when I sign in in the future to my Windows computer, that is not going to be an option. It's only this new one that I had created with the new name is going to be the account option that I can log in with. So that's going to wrap up this tutorial on how to change the account name that is associated with your Windows account when you're signing in and also the name that is on your user folder. Not the most straightforward process, but this is how you can go about doing that. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll see you back here next time.